This is Ellen with Artifacts, and today we're touching on the topic of genealogy and family history. We've been getting a lot of questions about how do people capture in artifacts that family history that they want to ensure lives across generations of time and isn't so boring as the black and white details that it originates from. This is just one example from my personal collection. I have a family member who's a genealogist and discovered that I was eligible to apply to the Daughters of the American Revolution. I absolutely love history, and this was a very cool thing that I thought I could do for my family because I can actually pass down that to other family, my, my daughter or to other family members who could then apply now that I've done the legwork. So here I have artifact in my new certificate, along with a photo of the mug they gave me, places where my ancestors were from, from and more. But more importantly, I've included in the documentation, which is private, the application information uh, for the DAR, but also for the SAR if someone wanted to apply for the Sons of the American Revolution. This information would be really helpful if any other future family member wanted to apply, and I'll be able to share that with them. Beyond that, of course, is the story about why I applied, how I got there, and the lineage that validated my DAR application. But this stuff can be kind of boring, and so how do you make it more interesting? Part of that is the magic of artifacts, right? I can link other artifacts into this that tell about family members of the past. This is great too, because I'm sorry, I can animate these photos, but they can't tell me who they are. And a lot of them don't even say who they are on the back or any relationship to myself that might be interesting. I can also include other facts. For example, one of these family members was the original owner of the family harp. This harp is a part of my memory of going to my grandmother's and now my uncle's house because it's featured in the living area. And now I know who it came from and here he is playing it. And I have the story of when he purchased it and how he used it that I can now put into context. If you have more questions about genealogy and history, great. Stay tuned. We're going to have a bunch more videos on that. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and we'll be back.